It's been known for a very long time now that microglia play a very key role in neurodegenerative diseases and that really comes from our um, understanding from post-mortem tissue where you see microglia surrounding amyloid plaques and really kind of since that, there's been a lot of genome-wide association studies which have highlighted some genes which um, increase the risk of developing dementia, and those have really been associated with immune function. And as uh, the immune cells in the central nervous system, microglia are obviously the candidates for kind of progressing um, or driving that dysfunction in disease. So there are a lot of um, risk variants in a number of genes in microglia. For example, TREM2, there's a, um, several um, risk-associated variants which increase the risk of developing dementia um, and drivers within those genes can um, affect microglial function so we know that when microglia are activated by stimuli in Alzheimer's disease like amyloid beta plaque or tau pathology or dying neurons then they migrate towards those areas and they try and kind of remove the, the, the debris or the stress that's caused that then leads on to the, the degeneration that we see in Alzheimer's disease. Um, however, microglia can become dysfunctional in this way. You know, if, if they're overburdened, they become unable to respond correctly to those sorts of stimuli. And that then means that the, the pathology kind of progresses and is, is exacerbated, and that's when we see disease progression. But also these kind of changes in microglial function as a consequence of these genes that are sometimes mutated um, can also kind of cause this microglial dysfunction that leads to, to the progression of disease. So we see that microglia play a really key role in kind of driving the changes in homeostasis in the brain, <coughs> excuse me, which then kind of follows on to, um, to the progression of Alzheimer's disease. But not only Alzheimer's disease, they play a very key role in other conditions like Parkinson's disease, as well as other neurodegenerative conditions as well, like motor neuron disease, Huntington's disease, these kinds of things. So.